Hello everyone, I wanted to show you some extremely annoying bugs in Unity. Just for kicks. So this is a Make Human Mesh. It looks pretty good, and it's CC0, so I thought I would use it. Yay! Here's the file in Blender. This has no shape keys, and no attachment to any kind of armature. Let's go ahead and add a shape key. Just an empty shape key. Yay! The normals are damaged. Unity has uh, screwed up the normals. When you add a shape key, Unity drops the ball and screws up the normals. We change it to calculate, and Unity drops the ball even harder. So what can we do about that? Well, let's go ahead and edit these verts directly and scale them. Let's not scale them up from there. Let's scale them up from there. Scale them up by a factor of two. Now, here we run into another bug. I actually have to delete the file from the scene and uh, reload it in order to get it to... Um, that's interesting. It should have at least loaded up the new mesh. Oh, that's just me being an idiot. Try that again. Scale 2. Add the shape key back in. I, I made it so that the shape key would scale it by 2, which isn't what I intended to do at all. The base mesh has now been scaled by 2. There we are. So what happens, uh, let's take a look at, the, look at the face end. Oh, 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 it turned invisible. Why did it do that? Well, that's because Unity doesn't actually bother to update this correctly. You have to delete it and re-add it. But now that we've re-added re it, uh, and we have a correct bounding box, you can see that we have far less damage to the model. That's because the normals are damaged when the verts are within a certain range of each other. Yes, in local space, if the verts are too dense, and you have shape keys, Unity will screw up. Alright, fine. Scale it up. We don't want to scale the key. We want to scale the... There. Scale it up. Wait, that's... Uh, scale up by 5. So here we have something that's 10 times our... Um, what we actually want it to be in-world. Which is, by the way, this default size of export. Oh! Would you look at that? Delete it. Re-add it. There we are. Now there's basically no damage. There is actually a, a, lot, a sm tiny, tiny amount of damage. For example, here in the ear, there is one point that is screwed up. But this is an acceptable amount of damage. I can live with this amount of damage. Okay? So, that's fine. Let's go back over here and we'll say, well, this is much too large. Well, I could scale it in Unity. Or, maybe I can scale it here. We'll scale it down using an object transform rather than a vert transform. And that works. So if your vert transform, if your local verts are too close together, you'll take damage. But you can scale it object you can using the object transform all you want and you won't take damage. Unfortunately, object transforms don't work well together with um, bones. So here we can see this is the bounding box of this particular mesh. No problems, right? So let's go ahead and bind that to the bones. This is the object bounding box when you bind it to a bone. <laughs> Just in case. Yay! So you can see that these are the really, really annoying bugs I've been working with. The, uh, the system sort of works, but it only works if you don't question it very hard and you're very careful to re-add everything after you screw it up. The problem with this method of using the object transform rather than the local transform is that the object transform actually um, does not scale the local space verts, which is why this doesn't take damage anymore. 
So if you read the vert positions uh, in local space of this mesh, they will be 10 times off, or however much you've multiplied it by. Which wouldn't be too bad, right? Except I have to create clothes. The clothes are intended to stick to the verts, and they scale automatically by finding the nearest um, uh, body vert to their vert. But these, I just created by you know slapping down add mesh plane and, and you know that sort of thing. So they're not scaled; they're just in normal normal size, which means that when I import them their verts don't match up to the verts of the body, and they end up trying to attach to, like, the shins, which has the hilarious result of ripping the piece of fabric in half and not working for anyone. Uh, I might be able to... I don't think I can actually show that, because I don't have any any body mods attached to it. Oh, yeah, I don't have it set up right. But uh, take my word for it. The, it. It attaches down here and rips apart and flings into the background ten times further than it should. It's just worthless. Which means that in order to build clothes for a body that has an object transform that has scaling, you have to scale the clothing transform exactly as much. <laughs> so this was the pain in the ass that I was dealing with trying to get all this stuff to work. And I don't think it's Make Human's fault. I think that it's entirely Unity's fault. I don't think it's even Blender's fault. I think it's entirely Unity's fault. I think that Unity has some bug in their normal calculations where if you add shape keys, they just break. Um, and I wanted to show you that because I literally spent all weekend at war with these two bugs, the normals bug and the bug where it doesn't actually refresh the object and the scene. Those two bugs combined to make my whole weekend wasted. Anyway, have a good week.